Warning. The Tribal Nation Nation contains adult language, adult content, psychological nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Rebuild Syria and send all the Syrian refugees back to rebuild their own nation. Get them out of America and get them out of Europe. Send them all back, 100% of them. And I hope Trump addresses that. That when he becomes president, he will send back all the Syrians to Syria and all the refugees from Africa back to Africa so they can rebuild their own nations. What's wrong with that idea? There's nothing wrong with it. You know, and the thing is, we should be focused, we should be allowing the Russians to completely crush ISIS in Syria. And then we should focus on. For I do not want you to be unaware, brother, that our fathers were all under the cloud and all passed through the sea. And all were baptized into Moses in the cloud and in the sea, and all ate the same spiritual food, and all drank the same spiritual drink. For they drank from the spiritual rock that followed them, and the rock was Christ. Nevertheless, with most of them, God was not pleased, for they were overthrown in the wilderness. Now these things took place as examples for us, that we might not desire evil as they did. Now these things happened to them as an example, but they were written down for our instruction, on whom the end of the ages has come. Therefore, let anyone who thinks that he stands, take heed lest he fall. I speak unto thee this day, and I say, when I, the loving God, did bring my people out of Egypt, I say, remember, they did not save themselves. That is, it was by my miracle power, it was by my delivering hand, that they were brought forth and honored by me. But I say, because they grew proud and arrogant, full of deceit and idolatry, full of abominable practices, I say, they lost out with me. But I say that my intention in bringing them out of Egypt was good and not evil. Now I say, when men will depart from my way, which is the only way that will keep men in a sin-sick world, where do they go? I say they go in the course of their own destruction, their own despair, and yes, they are damned in the same. And I say it is because of pride, because of independence from me, because they think they know a better way. But I say the very way they choose will cause them to lose and return them to the very bondage that I have delivered them from. Now I say you are living in times when men have grown so sophisticated, so elevated, or so they imagine in the deceit of their pride, yet I say they are taking themselves right into bondage. That is, they are taking themselves back rather than forward in me. And I say they have rejected my rule over them. They have rejected my dictate, my law. Now I say they will be ruled by oppression and darkness on every hand. And I say all the while they are too proud to confess, to repent, to return to me. Now I say that I the living God never intended evil for men, but I say they bring the same to themselves. And I say it is because they give way to an evil heart of unbelief, and they imagine evil in their hearts against me. Then I say because they imagine that evil, they grow adamant and stubborn, proud and rebellious, determined to have their way. And I say the very way they are choosing is the way of their own destruction. Now I say this day that I the living God never called men to the course of their own destruction, but I say that I've called them to the way of my life. And I say that I've called them to be thankful that they can indeed be uplifted, guided, and brought forth by me. For I say, when a people will be ever cleaving unto me, believing upon me, and trusting in my way, then they are guided in life. But I say, when my people go whoring from me, turn to other gods, other lovers, they turn to deceit. Now I say, in the wicked times that you are in, when you see the ones, the nations that have departed from me, no, they return to bondage. That is, they go back to the very bondage, the very darkness, the very oppression they had before coming unto me. And I say, they bring curses to themselves, to their generations, by their refusal to be serving me. For I say, while they are serving the ways, the gods of the heathen, no, they will be overwhelmed. For I say, it is me, the living God, who will allow stronger powers to oppress them, to devastate them, to bring them to ruination, and I say they deserve just that. For I say when nations forget me, when they go according, when they abandon my way, then I say that I've given them the example of the same. 
And I say, if they look what became of my people of old when they continually violated me, I say they brought themselves to ruination. Yet I say that was never my intention, but rather that they would be a holy nation unto me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do intend that men and women would serve me with gladness, would serve me with rejoicing and the giving of praise. That is, that they would be thankful to be ruled by me rather than oppressive forces. But I say, when men and women grow proud and superior, or so they imagine themselves to be, I say they are blinded in the same. And I say they are taken in a way that will prove to be death unto them, because their way is not my way. Now I say this day when I brought my people out of Egypt, it was that they would be a holy nation consecrated unto me. That is, that they would not serve the gods of the heathen, nor be subject to them, but rather that they would be dedicated unto me, serving me with gladness each day, that they would be dedicated to the way of my truth, my light, my mercy reveal. Now I say this day, be thankful when you look upon what it is that I offer unto thee, what it is that I provide. For I say that I do provide for my own the truth, the light, and the mercy reveal. And I say that I do provide for the ones who will be pleasing unto me the way that is eternal life. For I say that I've called my people to be my holy nation consecrated unto me. And I say when I, I did indeed make the way for them to enter into me, I say they are meant to keep in that way. Now I say this day when you see what it is that comes of spiritual whoredom, of pride and arrogance and vain conceit, I say it is nothing but death and damnation. And I say when men will think they are somehow superior to those who have gone before them and do not need to remain in my way, then I say they go in the way that the wicked one, the demon forces, are beckoning them unto. And I say they will find themselves ensnared and entangled and taken in the course of their very destruction. And I say all the while they are wise in their own conceit. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call men to do the stupid, absurd things that they do, yet I say they do those things because they fail to hearken unto me. That is, they will not receive my instruction, my counsel, and be made wise. But I say, instead, they choose the way of boredom, they choose the way of perversion, they choose the way of corruption through their pride. And I say, then they import the very forces of darkness that destroy them. Now I say, when you consider how stupid it is for men to import their invasion, to import their destruction, to import their devastation, I say, what fools they are. But I say, they open their doors to the very destructive forces that are coming in upon them. And I say that the hordes that beset them and overwhelm them and devour them, why is it so? I say it is because they departed sound counsel when they left off serving me. Now I say they operate under the mind of fools, and I say that fools are destroyed in their folly. I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to turn from me to go according and take up other gods. But I say that I call you to remain ever faithful and true unto me, walking and serving in my way. For I say that the way that I, the living God, do give is the way of eternal life. And I say that the way that I offer is the way wherein men and women are meant to be kept in me. Now I say, therefore, this day be glad that I've given unto you the privilege to walk uprightly, the privilege to be guided forth and directed in me. And I say, be thankful that I give you exactly what you need to be a partaker of my way. For I say, the way that I offer to the sons of men is the way of eternal life. And I say that the way that I give is the way of my truth. Therefore I say, be found abiding in my way, being guided in my way, and ever directed in me. For I say, when you will be accepting of what it is that I give, then yes, you are given newness of life. And I say, when you will be coming forth ever rejoicing in me, then you are strengthened each day. And I say that you will be given exactly what you need, for I, the living God, will give to you the same. And I say that I will guide, direct, correct, and instruct you each day. Now I say, this day do not live in the weariness, the dreariness of these times, but I say, remain consecrated unto me. For I say, it is me, the living God, who does look for the ones who will be faithful and true, 
who will continue in repentance before me day after day. For I say, when a people will truly be repentant, then I say, they are guided in me. And I say, they are given the blessedness, the strength, the truth, the mercy of who I am. And I say, they are given the light always, for I the living God do give to them the same. I say, this day that I the living God do not call you to depart from me to take any other way than the way that I give. For I say, the way that I offer, the way that I provide is the way of life. And I say, when my people will learn to abide satisfied in my way, then I say, they will not be craning the neck to their own destruction. But I say, they will find their contentment in living totally for me. Now I say, this day that the ways of the heathen appear to be so enchanting and enticing to those who have adultery in their hearts. But I say to the ones who have made up their minds they will serve me no matter what the price they pay. I say the ways of the heathen will be shown to be what they are. That is the way of enticement, seduction, entanglement, and sudden death. For I say when a man will step into the trap, the snare, then I say that he's taken down. I say this day do not give yourself over to that which will destroy you. But I say remain in me. And I say, be ever thankful that you do not need to be found amongst the ones who go according all to their own destruction. For I say, it is me the living God who is calling forth for the ones who will be true to be a holy nation unto me. That is, consecrated, separated unto me as the one they serve. And I say, it is me the living God who is able to keep my own in the midst of a wicked, a perverse, a vile generation. Now I say for the nations that have departed from me, forgotten my way, and taken up ways that are not intended for them, what do they gain through it all? I say they gain oppression, they gain darkness, they gain invasion and iniquity on every hand. And I say they gain the fear of all things because they have refused the fear of me. So I say for all of their wise conceit, they are the ones who end in heaps of despair. But I say it is me, the living God, who is giving the call throughout the earth for all men to repent, that they can indeed return to me. For I say, when a man will be walking uprightly in me, then I say that his citizenship is in me. And I say that he's counted worthy to be in my holy nation. That is, the nation that is truth and light and mercy revealed. I say, thank me and praise me that you do not need to have your identity in the wicked nations of this earth. But I say that you can indeed have your identity in me, and you do not need to be under the wrath revealed that is coming upon nations. Because they departed, they estranged themselves, they went far from me. But I say that you can indeed find the truth, the light, the mercy that I give to the ones who belong to my nation. I say thank me and praise me even now when the nations of this earth are hopeless and helpless. When you see invasion, destruction, and despair on every hand, I say be thankful for my way. And I say be thankful that as you are consecrated unto me, then you are brought forth by me. For I say it is me, the living God, who brought my people out of the kingdom of Egypt, the power of the saints. That is, by my mighty arm revealed, I say that I subdued a great kingdom, and they let my people go. And I say, so it is, even now, that it is me, the living God, who can subdue great kingdoms for the sake of my people. That is, if they remain ever true, faithful, and steady in me, being guided forth in the power, the strength, the truth that I provide. I say, be thankful that you do not need to be under the wrath revealed upon the nations, but you can be found in the mercy, the truth, and the light of who I am. As you continue in repentance, revolution, the call, the way of life that I provide. In every democracy and constitutional republic on earth, into which Mohammedan Muslims have immigrated, legally or illegally, and then insinuated themselves, they are attempting to introduce laws prohibiting the investigation of or discussion about Mohammedan Islam. This is with the full support and in some instances the connivance of the liberal left among our politicians, clergy, media and academia. Mohammedan Muslims know that more and more knowledgeable people like Ibn Warak, Robert Spencer, Wafra Sultan, Brigitte Gabriel, Walid Shubat, Aryan Hirsi Ali and many more are lecturing 
talking on television and radio, revealing the facts about Muhammad, his Quran, his Sunnah, and Sharia, pointing out very clearly our hate-mongering, misogynist, racist, war-mongering, vile, and hence ungodly. All of those mentioned above, and even I, are not targeting the followers of Muhammad with our message. Why? Because it would be a total waste of time attempting to use logic on indoctrinated and brainwashed minds such as theirs.